Hello everybody. Welcome to our May card class. <clears throat> I am just going to wait a second for people to find me. People message me that they're ready to go. So I decide to hop on here. So um, we have a few minutes until two. So if you're watching the replay, you might you can totally fast forward if you would like the first minute or two. All right. When you hop on, you can say hi. Let me know where you're watching. We have people from all over uh, watching us, watching the card class today. So that's very exciting. And I know some people can't watch live because you're working, and that's totally fine. Uh, so the, you can watch the replay as well later. So I have four really cute cards to show you. Well, one's not really cute, but it's a really nice card, I think. And so I'm excited for that. Hi, Della. Della lives here in Michigan near me. Hi, Susan. Oh, I see a lot of you are hopping on. Hi, Jean. Jean is one of my local ladies, too, who, if we weren't in a global pandemic, she would probably be at my studio today doing this class face-to-face. -face. So I love that she's able to hop on here and watch online. Hi, Holly. So I hope everyone is staying safe and all of that. I do have an ordering special for today, and I will go over that in just a few minutes. Again, we have another minute before it's two. Ugh, there's something on my screen, so don't mind me. It looks like a little, there. It's like a little fleck, and I kept, is like right kind of where my one eyeball is, and it was driving me crazy. So there, that is much better now. It's gone. Hi, Evelyn. Oh, she is from Texas. Texas is the last place I was actually able to travel to, and we went in February to Waco and San Antonio. Hi, Deb. Yes, I posted a sneak peek of the four cards we're gonna make, so I hope I hope you all uh, like them. I picked three of my favorite stamp sets that are retiring, so I got to use them again. And then one that is not retiring, but it um, it's carrying over. So we have four, four cards to make today. All right, hi Karen. Okay, it's two o'clock, so um, I'm going to start now. So thank you all for joining me. Oh, there's another Karen too. Hi, Karen. Um, thank you all for joining me today for this online card class. This is going to work kind of like how we did last month where I'm going to replicate what my actual in-person class would be. So I have a studio in downtown Davison and normally ladies come and we make four different cards and they kind of just, we rotate the tables. And so um, today I did the same thing. I made four cards that I think you'll like. And then I have an ordering special. So if you place at least a minimum $30 order with my host code, then there's the code, then I'm going to mail you the four cards in the mail, like the pieces of the four cards in the mail. You will have to stamp them yourself. So if you don't have the stamp sets I have, you can one, purchase them, or two, substitute with something else that you already have. So um, a lot of these layouts you can change, like you'll see the one with the pig. You can totally, if you don't have the pig set or you don't want it, um, you can use something totally different. So that's how that works. If you do a minimum, a minimum of a $30 order, I'll send you the four cards and they're gonna come like all the pieces in an envelope here, just like this. Uh, 
mailed to you. You have until Thursday night to place your order. Now, if you bump it up to at least a $50 order, you're gonna get the cards mailed to you. You're gonna get a brand new embellishment. Uh, I haven't picked it out yet. I'm, I always wait to see that May is crazy with things retiring. So I'm waiting to see what's available. But you'll get a brand new, embell a brand new embellishment mailed to you. And then you're also going to get a six by six designer series paper stack, 48 sheets. So that, so that is like a whole pack of designer series paper. And it is just going to be a variety of um, paper. And I'm cutting it six by six so that I can mail it nicely with your card kit. So um, you're just gonna get a variety of six by six paper, 48, that's like a big stack. Um, everyone's will be probably a little bit different, but just a little extra thank you gift from me to you. And um, I really appreciate you guys tuning in and crafting with me and placing your online orders. Um, it means so much to me because Stampin' Up! is my full-time job. And so it's been really hard to kind of switch to doing everything all virtual now um, until we're able to... to um, to meet again together. So yeah, so that is that is the ordering special. And if you missed it, I will go over it again at the very end. Okay, oh, somebody said your card kits are great. Thank you. So we are going to get started now. If you have any questions and if I miss it, I will go back through and I will reply to you. Um, and also, if you have any problems ordering with the host code, you can always message me or email me or text me, and I am more than happy to help you. Um, I know I have a few people I need to get to after this because this morning was crazy. We we just were in the middle of um, doing some stuff to our house, so it was just anyway a crazy morning. So. Um, now I have all everything devoted to Stampin' Up! so I can help you if you need help placing any of your orders as well. Okay, I'm going to, this is the host code that you do need if you want to order and um, we're, oh, before I get started, I did want to show one other thing. So one other quick, ad, quick announcement um, is my, I wanted to show you a sneak peek of my Owl at Card Club. So we're doing the card class today, but another part of my business that I do is I have a, it's called the Owlette Card Club, and you can go to my website up here, and that's how you join. Again, if you have questions, let me know, but I'm going to show you, um, explain really quick how it works because it is a really awesome club, and I love the ladies in there. So every month, I pick a stamp set, and I make four different cards, and... Then, and I focus on one stamp set or bundle. This month we're using the By the Dock stamp set, and there is a set of framelits that go with it as well. And so I'm gonna show you the four cards. So you make eight of these, you make two each. So you'll get, you'll get the supplies to make eight cards total using that stamp set. And so here is one, here is another, and everything gets mailed to you. And there are some perks of joining the club. And there's that, look at those oars. So you also get at least $20 worth of product in your club each month. So usually designer series paper, a bolt of ribbon, something like that. And you can cancel at any time. And then, um, yeah, I mail it out at the end of the month. You have until the 10th to sign up. But those are the cards for this month. We're using the Buy the Dock. And so I just wanted to show you a sneak peek because I got those done. And I'll be e emailing out the club members uh, later today as well. Okay, now we're ready to start stamping. I'm done with my little commercial. So I'm going to flip the camera view down and we're going to make some cards today. And uh, if you, again, I... Oh, Susan says, yes, it is. I love the club. Yeah, she's been a part of the club since the beginning. Okay, let's get stamping. All right, what card do we want to do first? We're going to do, um, we'll do this one. So we are going to be using this set that's retiring that's called This Little Piggy. 
It's a very cutesy set, but I just think it's um, has some really cute sayings. And so this set is $20. Here's the item number. I also use the brick and mortar embossing folder. Um, here it is right here and I um, embossed it. So I just wrote these down in case you were interested in uh, the stamp set. It is going so you're gonna wanna get it. So here's my little packet. Here's a little sneak peek of the cute little card we're gonna make. And I did grab some blends. So if you don't have these exact colors, you can color it in however you would like. And you're going to want a memento black ink pad for this. So I have my pierce mat right here. Okay, so what we need, and so when you, if you place an order, like this is exactly how your thing will come. I will emboss the pieces for you and die cut all your layers. So you just have to stamp it and assemble it and your ribbon will be cut also for you. So this is green apple green and we are going to fold this in half. I need my bone folder, except for I don't know. So I cleaned, I cleaned again last night and now I probably won't be able to find anything because stuff is actually sort of put away. <laughs> So green apple green, and then I have a layer of flirty flamingo here and whisper white. The whisper white is five, I don't know, it's a weird, it's a, like an eighth measurement. This is five and a quarter by four, and so this is just an eighth of an inch. It has just a hair of pink showing. So, oh, there's a piece of hair there, my card is falling. So we're just gonna add some adhesive here and put this on just like this. And then we're going to grab this green apple green ribbon, which is also retiring. And I just want it a little bit longer so that I can tie, uh, attach the ends to the back anyway. So I'm just going to use my glue here and go like this and there's what the back looks like. So now I'm just uh, going to attach this to the front of our card. I love this embossing folder. I think this one is getting carried over. But if you love embossing folders, there are a whole bunch that are retiring, and several of them are on sale. So a lot of our retired items are on sale. So make sure you check that out. So here we have it. And then next I went ahead and I, with our layering squares, I cut out a scallop square and then a white. And we're going to stamp our piggy on here. But I need to grab my stamp. So we're gonna be using this one with a flower. And I have a block right here. And our memento. So we're gonna, I'm using the blend, so I need to use the memento ink pad. And I'm just going to try to center this. Yeah, this is a pretty bright card. So there is our little pig. And I'm gonna just grab, my chamois is dried, I think, so I'm gonna grab a wipe and wipe this off real quick. Okay, so now we're going to, this is just like really quick coloring. Um, I have the Dark Daffodil Delight, and I'm going to color in the center of the flower with that. And then I have the Light Grainy Apple Green, so I love the coordinating the coordination with Stampin' Up. And I'm going to color in the grass down here. My, um... 
this brush end is a little frayed. That does happen, or it can. Mine get used a lot though at all my classes, so I'm not too worried. And then I have the light and dark flirty flamingo. So I'm going to color in the whole pig with the light. I'm just being careful around the tail there. It's a little curly. And again, you could color your pig a different color pink. I picked flirty flamingo to get a little bit brighter. And now I can go pretty quick with the brushed end. But these markers are great. They don't leave any harsh lines. They blend really well. You could use watercolor pencils as well if you have those. This pig just is so happy. This is how I'm going to be when I'm when COVID-19 is done, which I think we still have a while, but I'm going to be so happy. Okay, so I colored my whole pig in with the light flirty flamingo. Now I'm going to take the dark one and I'm going to go along the edge of this ear. Sorry if my hand is in the way. And around the nose and the little tips of the feet and hands. And then along this back. So can you kind of see that line? Now I'm gonna take my light and I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna do like little circular motions to blend, blend that in and then on the ear and the, okay. And then the last thing I'm going to do is take my colored lifter and I am going to just swirl around here and just lighten it up just a little bit in the center there. And then I have a tad of green that went outside of the leaf. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. So I'm not going to like go like this. I'm just going to hold it right on the piece that I went outside for just like a second. And then it will take that away. So the last thing is my Wink Estella. And I'm gonna color in the little flower, give it a little sparkle. Okay, we are going to attach this on. So this will layer on here, just give it a little edge of green peeking out. And then of course we're gonna attach it with some dimensionals. Okay, and then I will show you the one I already did, and then this one. The pink does dry a little bit lighter, so at first it's kind of like, whoa, but it does lighten up a little bit. So here is our card. Here's this one. See, I got a little mark up there. I need to get, I can put a little jewel or something there. But here is our first card with the little piggy stamp set. So let me know what you think of that one. And again, if you order the class or order do the ordering special and you don't have this or this isn't your thing, you can stamp whatever you want on here. And it could this layout is a very versatile layout anyway. And here is the numbers if you need that as well. All right, we're gonna move on to our second card. Let me put this back. I am so organized today. It's a little scary. Oh, I'm pretty organized at my classes. Okay, the next one we're going to do, the next card we're going to make is using the stamp set. I don't need this. Above the clouds. And this stamp set has a coordinating punch, a hot air balloon punch, and it is on sale. So the stamp set is $22 and the punch is on sale for $10.80. And these are the item numbers if you want to, um, if you want to, if you need that information. So I wanted to show you this because this punch is a really great deal. It's like over $8 off. 
and I do have a couple different ink pads we're going to be using. So, okay, this, we can move that out of the way. This is a card we're going to be making. It says you're off to great places. So I thought this would be great if you do know anyone that is graduating um, or you can change the sentiment. Um, this one, there's one that says, hi friend, or you could stamp happy birthday here. You could totally change the sentiment to anything. But I thought it would be great if we you needed a graduation card. So I have Flirty Flamingo here. And I have used the, the nested labels, I believe. And so we need that. And then this is just scrap to stamp my balloons and for my sentiment. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is fold this Flirty Flamingo. And we're going to be using Flirty Flamingo. Soft Suede, Coastal Cabana, and I grabbed Crushed Curry. So some bright colors. And the first thing we're going to do is stamp a few hot air balloons, some balloons in the background. So these ones right here we're going to stamp in the background. I used a lot of these um, stamps today, so I just have them on my block. And we're just going to put a few of these. Yes, this would be great for college, high school, somebody getting a new job, or again, change the uh, sentiment altogether. And I'm going to put one right there. Okay, so we have some hot air balloons in our background. And next, we're going to stamp this label with some clouds in the background. And so I have the clouds right here. So there's clouds. And we're going to do that in Coastal Cabana, but I'm going to stamp them off. Let me grab. See, you can see I just used a piece of scrap paper and I'm going to ink them up. And then I'm going to stamp it off once because I want them a little bit lighter. And then I'm going to make sure I got it the right way. Stamp some up there. Stamp it off again. Do some there. like that. So we have some clouds in the background. And this actually can go on here with some dimensionals. And then we're going to stamp and punch out our balloons. So that is the fun part. So I'm just going to kind of put it in the middle like that. So I have my scrap piece of paper here, here, somewhere, right here. And we're going to use the solid image and do our, I found it was easier for me to do actually the, the outline first because then it was easier for me to line up. Now this would be great to use your Stamparatus on. I just didn't grab mine. So our first balloon is in Flirty Flamingo and I'm just inking it up full strength and I'm gonna stamp it right there. And then I'm gonna wipe this off and I'm gonna do another one in Crushed Curry, which is a yellow. And this one is gonna go over here. And then, we're done with this one. And then I'm going to take this to do the Coastal Cabana one. So I'm just doing all my stamping right now. Let's 
So I have this one and we're gonna do Coastal Cabana, which is my favorite color. And we're gonna do that on this side. And now we're gonna fill in some of our blooms with the solid image here. So I'll do coastal the Coastal Cabana first. So I'm just inking it up. And then I am gonna stamp it off once. And then I'm going to try not to get my head in the view. And then I can see right kind of where it goes. And it fills that in a little bit lighter. So you can still see the outline. So I wiped it off and now I'm going to go in with my crushed curry. Same thing, I inked it up. I'm gonna stamp it off once and then I'm going to line it up over this one and stamp. And then we're going to do the flirty flamingo. The flirty flamingo, we're also gonna add a little banner to it. So there's that. So there's our balloons. Now I'm going to take, we're almost done stamping. This has quite a bit of stamping, but it's not hard. Not hard at all. I'm gonna take this banner right here and then this one, we're gonna fill it in with the pink. So flirty flamingo. Whoops, do you see how that has ink across the top? Just take a wipe and wipe that off because if that bumps your paper, it's going to leave a pink mark right across there. Um, I may have seen it happen a time or two. So there's my little pink banner. And now the last thing is I'm going to take, this will fill the little banners in. And I'm not stamping these off. I'm just going for it. I'm just trying to line it up. Hopefully my head isn't in the way. Oh, I didn't get it all the way to the top. You see what I mean? So I'm gonna I'm gonna redo it. I just didn't get it. Come on. There. You know what? This is what you do. You take your flirty flamingo marker and you just color it in. There, now it's perfect. <laughs> so you can always use your markers too. All right, let's punch these out and get the rest of the card assembled. We're done with the pink and the yellow. So my punch right here, you just flip it upside down and you kind of center it and then you punch it one. Oh, I forgot we need to do the little basket too. So we have our three little hot air balloons. So this will actually punch out the little flags if you want to make a banner and then the bottom of the little balloon also. So real quickly, I have, that's why I had the soft suede here. I'm going to grab this and this to do the bottom. And just be careful, um, when I, I did use this in a class, and then the, the stamp is so tiny, I thought I lost it. It's like really, really little. So um, I'm putting it right back in the case so I don't lose it. <laughs> and then I have the little filler in, and I'm going to stamp it and stamp off. Actually, I'm gonna, and then I can see right where that goes. And then you can easily punch this out. So there's, do you see that? If it would focus, then I can put this in here and punch that little piece out. All right. 
How's everyone doing? You sticking with me? <laughs> it feels kind of weird like stamping a whole card, like multiple cards from start to beginning. Okay, so the blue one is going to go here. The yellow one over here. Our pink one. This little thing is taking shape. So I'm going to put the yellow balloon down flat just with some regular adhesive whatever you like go ahead and use so that one's gonna go right there and then this one is going to get popped up with some dimensionals so I'm gonna put two on the back so I'm making a masculine card next and it has a fish on it and if you know me, you know I'm not a fan of fish, but I love the stamp set. So I hope you like the card. We're going to put that one up just a little bit like that. And then this little thing I'm going to put down with a mini glue dot. So I can just put that little basket on there and peel it off. And I'm going to kind of put it down just a little bit because our little banner is going to go across there. Oh, Holly's watching outside to enjoy some sunshine. That sounds awesome. And then this pink one is popped up too. So we will pop this one up. I'm using the edges of my dimensionals. And it's going to come maybe like down here. Okay, the last thing, one of the last things is we have just a half inch strip of Whisper White and we're gonna I am gonna stamp that sentiment you're off to great places again you could make this a birthday card you could make it a uh, thinking of you I miss you I'm just using the Coastal Cabana ink pad and I'm it's upside down not that it matters I'm going to stamp it just like that there's our little sentiment. And then I'm just gonna cut the ends at an angle. You could make it a banner. So I'm just cutting them just like that. And then we are going to add one little touch to it. I grabbed this gray granite ribbon and I'm going to put a strip of adhesive along the back of my banner. And then what I'm going to do is, I just want a little bit of this peeking out. So I'm going to glue it on like this. And then I'm going to go in behind and cut. And cut this one at an angle. So it has just a little something extra there. And then this is going to go on our card like that. Just like that with some glue dots. So I am going to put like three or four on the back so I know it's going to stay good. Oh, I saw a bunch of hearts. And oh, and the last thing I did is I took this little heart die. This is from the Stitched Hearts. And I love it because you run it through and you get a whole bunch of hearts at one time. And so I ran it through my Sparkle Glimmer Paper, which is retiring. I'm very, very sad about that. It's one of my favorites. So I have this little sparkly heart. And I'm going to add the heart on the balloon. So I'm going to put that right there on that blue. And so I have it in here with all my extra little hearts. And then I'm going to take White Baker's Twine is Retiring. Did you pay attention? I hope they're coming out with some in the holiday catalog. So if you, I use White Baker's Twine all the time. So if you need some, grab it. I'm making just the tiniest bow with this. You don't have to make a bow. It looks great with just the cute little heart. I want to add a tiny little bow. So I'm making the little bow. And again, I'll give you all the ribbons in your kit. 
and I am going to put my little bow on the little dot and then pick it up and put it right in the center of that heart. And there is our card. And here is the original one. So there's our second card. Let me know if you like that one better than the first one. I'm going to pick up all the pieces and put them back in the bin. Oh, Deb says she loves it. Thank you, Deb. All right, we're moving right along. If you just hopped on, here was our first card we made, and now we have this. Next, we're going to do shift a little bit, and we're going to do a um, more masculine card. I know that, like, Father's Day is coming up, and I know not everyone needs a Father's Day card. And this could just be not a Father's Day card either because it says, you're the best catch ever. So we're going to make this card. And again... Do you see the fin on that fish? It's actually like cut, it's the dye like cuts it out like that. So again, I will just give you a piece of cardstock. I cannot die cut this, the fish for you. So on this card, you'll have to just hand cut it out if you don't have the dyes on this stamp set. But the best catch is on sale for only $12. You get the entire stamp set for $12, like that's a catch, that's a great deal. So this is what the stamp set looks like, 12 bucks. It was normally $20. The dies are $28 and these are the item codes. So if you like this or you don't have it, um, or again, you can substitute. I'm using some burlap ribbon, which is retiring. And the colors I have are Garden Green, Crumb Cake, and Balmy Blue. And then I have a bunch of markers in Browns, Greens, and Cajun Craze. Pumpkin Pie, too. So let me show you how this card goes. These are the dies. So the dies come with, it will cut out this man down here. It will cut out this basket, the hat, this thing. Is that a lure? I don't even know. And the fish. And then it also comes with a few fish that this cuts out separately and this um, cattail thing. So it's a pretty good um, die set. If you know or like fishing, I know my friend Susan is a great fisherwoman. <laughs> She catches lots of big fish. Okay, so here are our pieces. This is garden green. This is just getting folded in half. And then the other cardstock I have is early espresso and crumb cake. And so the early espresso is, um, I don't remember what I cut it. It'll be in the tutorial but we're going to stamp, we're gonna stamp this in the background, kind of like we did with the hot air balloons. So I think that's, it's like a hook, a lure, a hook. I don't know what it's called. I'm actually, I'm so scared of fish. I don't know why, but I am. I'll tell you a quick story, not that you care, <laughs> but it might be uh, funny for you. Um, a few years ago, we were in Hawaii for our um, anniversary, and we did that stand-up paddleboard where you, like, uh, paddleboard, and it was super, the weather was terrible that day. It was very windy and a little chilly, and anyway, we went to, we got by a reef, and I saw all these tropical fish. They were beautiful. Like, I think tropical fish are amazing. Um, so beautiful, these fish. And then they started, like, a whole bunch came. And I freaked out, and I slid out. I slid and fell off the paddle the paddleboard. And um, anyway, I 
cut myself really bad on some coral and started bleeding and whatnot. But the fish were really cool until I saw how close they were and then I got totally freaked out. You can laugh at me. It's a story I will never forget. <laughs> oh, this is the wrong stamp set. Um, so we're here. Here we go. So now we're putting this, I'm putting this back. And I am going to stamp my sentiment on a stitched oval. If you need to buy a set of dies, the layering or the stitched shapes are my absolute favorite. And then this says, you're the best catch ever. Again, you could stamp, it's your day, for you dad, or use a different, a different stamp set too. Jennifer is laughing with me. Yeah. It was, uh, it was crazy. <laughs> so, I like the aquarium. So there's that. And next we're going to do a little, this is the optional, but if you know me, you know I love um, adding little stuff to the background. So I took Balmy Blue ink pad and I added a drop of re-inker into my lid. So I already did that. And then I have an aqua painter. And it has water, this just has water in it. And so I, if you squeeze it, some water will come out. So do you see that? And then what I did is I take like a, make sure, this, and I'm just gonna tap it and add a little bit of that in the background. Just gives it a little something extra. Then you can just like wipe this off on a paper towel or a napkin and clean it. And then you can just reuse it for your next one. So we have this. Here's my fish. I already stamped it and die, die cut it, but like it's pretty cool how it does that. And then I ran this. So you, this I will already run through for you. I took the bronze blend and I'm gonna color the top of these in with, uh, I just want them brown. Cause this is just cut out with garden, the garden green. So you can, and I'll probably do another layer, but then you can see. And then it's just so, so green and just plain. So what I did is I grabbed my garden green ink pad and our sponge, and you know the sponges, they come in a circle. I just cut them into little wedges. And you can just, this makes it look a lot more better and realistic in my opinion. Just gonna go around here. And then even just right on there. And then there, it looks so much better now. So there is that piece. And we, can start putting this hi everybody i am back and okay okay so i am back <laughs> I don't know, for some reason the internet just totally went out and I had to re I restarted my computer and so we're going to try to finish this card now. Huh. All right, so hopefully people can find us. There will be two videos for this now, one, part one, and now part two. So. As I was saying, uh, we stamp this and then add some glue to the back and we're going to add our burlap. Oh, and I'm going to 
just wrap this around here. Oh, technology can be so wonderful and then sometimes it can be really frustrating. I do want to use some thicker glue to hold this down. So glue dots or um, I have some fast fuse, uh, tear and tape, just hold that back down there. Thanks for coming back on with me. Um, wow. Okay, now I'm going to put this down and then we're going to color our fish. Okay, this is going down right here. Okay, so now to do my fish, I grabbed several different blends. And I'm going to look at this because this is kind of how I did the original one. So what I did is I took the light old olive and I colored uh, pretty much the whole thing in with this. So that's what I'm doing while people are hopping back on. Thanks for sticking with me. I haven't had my internet shut off on me or just stop like that in a long time. I mean, like over more than a year. So I'm going to color this in. And I'm going to come down here and do a little bit of green. This is the light, light old olive. And I'm doing this. So I'm going to show you some of my tricks on how I did color this. I'm no means a professional, but it is kind of fun to to blend some of these colors together. So again, I'm just trying to color most of the fish with the light old olive. I just lost like half the people. Oh well. Hopefully they come back or they can watch the recording, right? Okay, so I have it kind of like this. So there's a what a lot of the fish looks like with just the light old olive. Then I go ahead and take my light crumb cake and I add a little bit of that to all of these, what are they, fins? And I'm gonna add some down here. So this is the light crumb cake. Then I took the light pumpkin pie and I'm going to add a little bit of that up here too and in here and a little bit here and down here. Then to blend that pumpkin pie. I'm going back with the light crumb cake and I'm going to blend it out a little bit. So this is just how I did it. So here's where we're at now. Can you, and I'll take pictures because I know it's hard to focus or to see, but that just adds a little bit of there. Next, I'm going to do uh, this part of the fish. See on there. I took the light, I think I took light pumpkin pie, and I colored it in first with that. And it looks like at first I was like, whoa, this is crazy. But then when I layered my colors, I really liked it. So this is light pumpkin pie, and I'm just coloring like the belly of this fish. Okay, light pumpkin pie. Then I'm gonna go in with the light Cajun craze. So this is a little bit darker shade and I am going over that 
a little bit. And I'm going to come up here. So this is kind of what it looks like right now. Kind of like a mess. But then I'm going to take that light pumpkin pie again. And I'm going to do some little circular motions and kind of blend it, blend it in a little bit. And lastly, I am going, well, there's two more things. I'm going to take the light crumb cake again and kind of go along the edges of where these colors meet. The crumb cake works really well. And then the then I'm going to take the last color is light mossy meadow. And I'm going to, this is a little bit darker green, the top up here, I'm going to go along this. There's like some little circles. And so it's a little bit darker in here and I'm going to just add a little bit darker green in here to the top of this fish. And I lied, I'm gonna take the light and blend it, kind of blend it together. All right. So even though I don't like fish, I do know, and I have been fishing before and with my grandpa, and I've seen fish and they have like a little rainbow effect to them, some of, some of them. And so I took my Wink of Stella and I'm just gonna run this along the belly of that fish and then a little bit up here. Just to try to make, and then a little bit on here. Maybe make it look a little bit more realistic. And there is our fish. Um, kind of cool. It looks pretty good. So the last part of assembling this is I'm going to tuck this down here. My last card is very quick. So this is going to go down here. Then you remember this piece right here. It needs a little bit more brown on those cattails. So this color those. That's a bronze. And then this just gets a little bit of glue. And I'm going to tuck this kind of over here. This one's a little bit, this ribbon's a little bit higher. And then lastly, my fish is gonna go down here, popped up on dimensionals. So you can let me know what you think of this card. Sorry about the interruption there, but we made it work. I am back and I'm glad you're fine. People are finding me. I'm so sorry. My internet just freaked out on me, I guess. Okay, then I'm going to put this fish right here. If you missed it and you want to see how I colored the fish, you can watch the replay. So there it is. And I don't know if it's going to pick up like the shimmer, but I thought this was a pretty cool card. So again, for this card right here, I use the best catch and the framelits. And just a reminder, this stamp set is on sale for only $12 instead of 20 and then there's the die so if you like that okay and again if you don't if you're not a fish person you can um punch out you can totally change this up stamp a tree there or whatever so there's that card and now we're on to our last card which is going to be using some brand new products the Oh, let me get rid of this and all the markers. So we're going to be using the Ornate Garden, which 
is a early release product. Well, the paper is. And so the paper is really pretty and I didn't, I only brought out, here is what we're using. So we're going to be using this new ornate garden paper. And this is my favorite piece in there. It has like these daisies. And we're gonna be using some mint macaron ribbon. We're going to be using these Perennial Essence Floral Centers, and they're on clearance right now on sale for only $3.60, and you get 18 in here. And so they have a little sticky on the back, and uh, it makes your flower look just really realistic. Now, if you run out of these, or you don't have these, or want them, then you are going to want a half inch circle punch. This is retiring, and it's only $6, and you can make circles to, forever. So this is, I love this. I don't know what I'm going to do because I use this all the time for centers of my flowers. And then we're going to be using the medium daisy punch, which is $16. So th this is carrying over. Some of these are carrying over. Some of these are not. I also have a mint macaron ink pad. And the stamp set I am using is called strong and beautiful, which is carrying over. But what I wanted is I thought Mother's Day is coming up. And again, just like Father's Day, I know not everyone needs a Mother's Day card, but this could easily be changed to anything. This card is so simple, but really, really pretty. I wish you could see like the fuzzy little center and the flower. It's just a really pretty card. And so again, you could stamp any sentiment you want along the bottom. So like this one right here, Strong and Beautiful, I featured this last May for a class I did and there's lots of, lots of stuff. So here, here's this sheet. If you, the stamp set's $25. The flower centers are on sale for $360. And then um, here's some of the punches I use. So this one will go by super fast. I have Mint Macaron, which is a very springy color. We're just going to fold this in half. I have Whisper White that is five and a quarter by four. And then this piece of the paper, so look at the back. It's like gold. So you could brayer this or color it in. You could do a lot of fun things with the back of this. This is five by three, five inches by three inches. And what I should do this is what I try to tell people at my card class is always stamp first. Then if you make a mistake, you can flip it over. So I am going to make this a Mother's Day card. Um, I can give this to one of my friends that's a mom. Um, I don't have my mama anymore. She passed away several years ago. She's the one that got me into stamping. So I love that. And I think of her all the time when I stamp because she got me hooked up with uh, stamping. So that's wonderful memories. So there we have Happy Mother's Day. And again, put whatever you want down there. Okay, so now I am going to attach this down. Thank you, Susan. Yes, the back you can color anything you want. And this has, this would look great with white. There's a new color in here called Bumblebee. And uh, I think Old Olive, it coordinates too. So here we have so far. We're going to take the mint macaron ribbon and I'm just going to do the, what I've been doing all day today. So I'm just going to add a strip across like this seam. And this is just going to add a little something. We're going to trim the edge. Okay, got to make sure it stays. Um, I see somebody's comment. Lisa said, great job coloring the fish. So just take your time coloring it if you want to add all those colors. 
just some um, blend a little bit of this and a little bit of that that's all I did and then it kind of looks like a mess at first but it turns out really cool at the end so there we have this we're gonna just attach this down and then we're gonna punch out a few daisies this card would be pretty for anything any occasion any occasion at all so I have just some scrap paper here and I'm going to punch out two of these medium daisies. We also have the, the regular daisy punch. So two of those, kind of loud. And what I did is I grabbed, starting to get really messy here, um, a dimensional and that is going to go so the dimension the popped up piece is going to come like uh down here oh, i'm sorry evelyn her first mother's day without her mom it is hard but i just try to think of all my happy times and that helps not the same but it helps there is that and then we're going to take one of these flower centers again if you don't have these or when you run out if you order them half inch circle punch works really great but it's retiring so get it so i'm going to take one of these i'm going to carefully peel off the back and put this right in the center. Now this is pretty raised, so this will probably require extra postage if you have to mail it, so be aware of that. If you don't want that, then go to this. But it it looks so cool, I, I just love it. So there is our last card. Let me know what you think. Super sweet and simple. And I hope you um, enjoyed enjoyed this one. So now I'm going to kind of recap everything and uh, go over the special again because I know my video is going to be chopped in half now. Here is the stamp set if you are interested in the strong and beautiful. And let me show you all the cards we made and then go over the ordering special again. So, this is our last card. Then we have this one right here with our fish. So, again, you can change any of the sentiments. We have this one for uh, your off to great places. And then our first card was our happy little pig. So, these three stamp sets are retiring. Several of the ribbons are retiring. Um, the punch, um, I posted um, like the hot air balloon punch is on sale. This stamp set's only $12. So if you have any questions, um, let me know. I'm gonna turn this up real quick. So again, if you wanna get in on my ordering special, you need to go to my website I'll link my website in the description as well. If you place at least a $30 order, I will send you all the pieces to make one of these four cards. So you'll get four of these cards, one of each in the mail, and then you can stamp them and put them together. And again, if you don't have the same stamp sets, you can just use what you have in substitute stamps. But you'll get all the pieces to make um, one of each of these. Now, if you bump your order up to at least $50, you're going to get this. You're going to get a brand new embellishment, one that's not on back order. And then you're also going to get a stack of 48 pieces, 48, that's what I said, 48 pieces of 6x6 six six designer series paper. This is all Stampin' Up! paper. Um, it's retired. I have a lot of it. And so it's just a variety pack. They're like, this has Christmas. There's just a little bit of everything in here. And everyone's pack will be a little bit different. But if you do at least a $50 order, you're going to get this pack of 6x6 six six 
in there. So 48 sheets is a whole pack of 12, of our normal paper and I'm just cutting it so that I can ship it easily to you. So, um, and you're gonna, nice variety pack. So that's the special for the month of May for the online class. If you um, need help ordering, I can help you. Just make sure you use a host code. If you um, are interested in the card club, I showed that at the beginning we're using the buy the doc. I, um, you can go to my website or message me and I can help you sign up for that as well. And I think that's it. Does anybody have any questions um, right now? I'm just looking real quick. Um, such a versatile class today. Thank you. You're welcome, Linda. Thanks for joining. Um, oh, that's so cool and easy to make. Um, thanks, Jean. So I, I think that's it. If, uh, I will be offering, um, so my card class is going out. I have a lot of stuff that's going to be coming out in May. Um, as I'm just trying to figure out what's still available. So Sorry about the interruption, um, and I hope if you're watching the second half, you go back and watch the first half. If you're watching the replay, there's two videos today. So I will be on my regular business page Wednesday to go live with you and show you a new project. And the ordering special goes until Thursday night. So you can order until Thursday night, but just remember a lot of these products are while supplies last. So they might sell out before then. So, just, so I just want to remind you of that as well. Have a great day. Thanks for joining me. Bye.